Hi, have you ever had a craving for something and you just couldn't put it to rest until you did it? Or maybe you had this strong pull to eat something or do something and you don't really know where it came from? Well, today we're going to talk about that. I'm Nancy Dadami and I am a flow strategist an intuitive, and a teacher. So let me tell you what happened to me. My husband and I have this event every year for our neighbors called Pie Night. And we gather and everybody brings a pie and we all talk and it's just a great fun. So I was at the import store about a week before the party and I saw this sign. I'm only here for the pie. And it's got a nice piece of pie on it. Well, I had to have it because I thought, oh, let's, you know, that'd be great to display. And, you know, it'll be a great laugh. So I came home and I put it on the buffet, which is between the dining room and the hallway. And so I walked by this every day, several times. And I started saying, I'm only here for the pie, every time I walked by it. So I did it for a week before the party, and then it's been about 10 days since the party. Well, I want to say about, oh, three, four days ago, I noticed that I, as I'm looking through magazines, I'm looking at pie recipes. I'm cutting them out. I'm saving pie recipes. I'm looking, I'm starting to think about Gee, I would like to have some pie. Where can I get some pie? Maybe I'll make one. Or, oh, there's this produce market around the corner. They have homemade pies. I'm going to go over there and get one. And mind you, I'm, I'm not a pie person. I don't eat a lot of desserts. And I thought, what is going on here? And then later that day, I walked by that sign again. And I said, I'm only here for the pie. And I realized the sign was triggering messages in my brain. And after a very short time, less than three weeks, I was craving pie. So does that ever happen to you? And you ever wonder, well, where does that come from? It comes from your environment. It's what you're thinking about, what you're, the words that you're using, and what you're wishing would happen for you. And even if it's something you don't want, but if you keep talking about it, you're bringing it on. So I'll tell you what I did. I turned the pie sign down so that when I walk by there, I don't see it. And I don't say, I'm only here for the pie anymore. And I haven't quite gotten over the pie thing, but I haven't given into it. What I realized is our words really matter and the images we surround ourselves with really matter too because that has a pie, a piece of pie on it. So I know that images connect with our brain on a level that we're not even aware of. And that's another reason why vision boards are so impactful. Why? They work even when you're not aware of it. So if you had a vision board and you had images on there of something you really want and you looked at it often and maybe you even created a phrase, like I had my pie phrase, that you said several times a day, imagine what would happen in a short amount of time. Well, you can create a feng shui vision board. And you can get your very own feng shui vision board kit at nancydadami.com forward slash shop. And the next time you are craving something, you might want to stop and think about where did that come from? Our words really matter. This is Nancy Dadami. Until next time. Enjoy.